Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome to my page. I'm Melissa Jakubovic with Melissa Marketing, and you're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast, or maybe you're tuning in on YouTube or on Facebook. But today, we're talking about how to reduce your ad budget. Now, I speak to a lot of clients all the time, and something that really comes up very often is the complaint or the misunderstanding around needing an ad budget to begin with. They call me up, they want to start their ads, but they don't realize that they actually need to have an ad budget in order to produce ads. It seems like a very logical thing, right? You need to run ads, you need to have an ad budget. But people are very tight with their money in the ad budget. And this is a huge mistake because you need to have an ad budget in order to put ads out. And the way that you become visible in front of your audience is to get in front of them. So running ads is a great way to get in front of your audience. And if you don't have the budget to put behind the money, to put behind your ads, then you're not getting in front of your audience. So you might have a great product or a great service, but nobody knows about it. And that is a huge mistake. So I just wanted to give you a few tips today to let you know how you could reduce your ad budget. And I'm sitting in my car here because I wanted to sit outside. It's a gorgeous day, but there's wind and I don't like wind. So I'm hot in my car right now. You might see some cars driving by, you might hear that. Um, okay, so number one, you gotta play. You gotta pay to play. You gotta, you gotta pay to play. So you want to run your ads, you got to pay. Now a smart business owner is going to have ad budget as part of their overall business budget. That is a huge, huge, huge component of running a business. So if you don't have an ad budget, you're doing something wrong right off the bat. Now if you're just starting out, I would recommend taking 10% of your profits and putting them towards ads because it's very, very important that you're building up that ad budget. And the amount of money that you spend on your ads is directly related to how fast you grow. So that is something to take into consideration. If you're trying to sell an online course, and a $1,000 course, let's say, and you want to make $10,000, well, you might need a $25,000 budget in order to achieve that goal. There's a whole ads calculator that we have that we use here um, at Melissa Marketing to calculate how much ad spend you need based on the cost of your product or service, how many people that you want to sell it to, and what your goals are. And I have done another podcast on that before, so you can go check that out. But you need to be realistic. And if you don't have an ad budget, then you're not going to be able to have ad spend, and you're not going to be able to get visible in front of your target market. So number one, you want your you want to target your ideal customers, the people who are most likely to buy from you. If you're going to turn on a Facebook ad and just shoot it out to the whole entire world because everybody needs your product, then your cost per click, your click-through rate, it's going to be way more expensive. You're going to be throwing money away. Your leads could cost upwards of $10 per lead. And we want to keep that budget down much lower, like around the $3 mark per lead, depending on, of course, what you're offering. Um, different things, different objectives, all that needs to be taken into consideration. But when you are running ads to a wide audience that is not niche, it's not specific, you are wasting money. Because... Facebook is going to show your ads to everybody, which will cost you money, and only the people who are interested in your ads are going to click. But if you show your ads to your ideal target market, you'll have a much higher percentage of people that want to click, that want to buy your stuff, that want to participate in your offers. So you want to make sure that you're really targeting a very niche market in your Facebook ads because that will reduce your ad spend and your cost per lead. It will not be $15. It'll be more like $2 or $3. So you want to make sure that you're targeting only your ideal clients. Those are the people that are most likely to purchase your product. Now, a lot of times I hear people say, but so many people can purchase my product. It's good for this age group. It's good for this gender. It's good for this location. And that might be true, but I would say to split test because you only want to run ads to the lowest hanging fruit, the easiest people to target, the ones that are most likely to purchase because that's going to keep your ad spend down. 
Now, you need to be very specific, number two, you need to be very specific with who that target market is because you think that you your product or service is good for everyone, but you also might think that you have a niche and you might have a really high ad spend budget. So you definitely want to split test. You want to try out all the different variables that you can. And when you're in that ads manager, you want to make sure that each ad set is for a different type of ad, a different variable. You don't want all your ads to be different under one ad set because then when you test, you don't know which variable it is that is doing well for you or that needs to be turned off because that ad spend budget is going to go towards all of the ads in that ad set. So if you have one ad within each ad set, so each ad set has its own ad, then you can split test different variables and then you'll be able to shut off the ads that aren't performing as well. And you need to know what problem you're solving. So that copy that you're using is really important. You want to speak on their pain points. People are driven by their emotions. So you're either going to be talking about pain or pleasure. And you want to speak to them about what their problems are and how you can solve them. And you want to word it in a way that's conversational, but also is really driving that point home that they have a problem and you can solve it. And if your ad copy isn't strong, your ads are not going to work as well. They're not going to be clicked on as often. And therefore, you're going to have a higher click-through rate, um, not a higher click-through rate, a higher cost per click. And it's going to be very expensive for you. It's going to drain your entire ad spend budget. Um, now, number three is a really great strategy, and it's a tripwire. If you don't know what a tripwire is, um, it's like you trip over a wire. You know, it's one little step before you get to the main thing. So what I like to do on my sales funnels is we'll offer a freebie on the homepage. The second step of that funnel is your thank you page. Now, on the thank you page, that's a great opportunity to offer something at a small price point. And the reason why you do this is for a few things. Number one, once a customer, a prospect, a client, whoever has purchased something from you, even if it's $3, $7, $20, something very low, once they've purchased something from you, they are more likely to purchase from you again. They've already invested in you. They've already made a commitment that they're interested in your brand or what you're offering. And so it's very easy or easier, I should say, to offer them a bigger price point after they've purchased something small. So you want to offer something small on that thank you page. Now, this is going to help you. This is reason number two that you need a tripwire. It's going to help you with your ad spend budget because a certain percentage are going to purchase this tripwire. Usually around 30% is a really good percentage. So when they purchase that tripwire, that money that you make back, it's going to be going towards, it's going to offset the cost of your Facebook ads. So I'm running lots of Facebook ads right now. I'm spending lots of money on Facebook ads, but then I also have a tripwire so that 30% of the people that are going to get into my freebie, they're opting in for my freebie, they're also purchasing something and that money goes back into my ad spend. And so that brings down the cost of my ad spend. And the other thing about a tripwire is that um, it's passive income and passive income feels amazing. So you put all this work into building the foundation, to building the funnel, to building the automation, building that system, and then you have that tripwire there that's going to be bringing money back into you. So literally, I go to sleep at night, and when I wake up in the morning, I have notifications on my phone that so many people have purchased all my little trip wires and things like that. And I wake up every morning with money coming into my bank account. And it's an amazing feeling, this passive income. So you wanna have that trip wire for your passive income to be able to offset your ad budget. And also because once somebody purchases something small from you, they're more likely to purchase from you again. Um, so you just need to make sure that you're split testing. You need to make sure that you have a trip wire. You need to make sure that you have an ad budget. If you don't have an ad budget, you don't really have a business. I'm sorry to say that if that offends some of you, but you need to really get yourself out there. You could have the best products in the world, the best services in the world, but if nobody knows about them, did it really happen? Do you really have those services to offer? no one will ever know. So you want that ad budget. That should be a huge priority in your business to save money for an ad budget. Now, if you're brand, 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 brand new and you don't have something yet that you have to offer, now's a good time to start 
putting a savings account together for an ad budget. So when you're creating this offer and you are ready to launch it, you will have lots of money to push out into your ad spend. Even a couple hundred dollars is a good starting point, but if you have a couple thousand dollars on ad spend, you're going to grow much more quickly. You're gonna have visibility among a much larger audience and you will get a return on your investment, your ROI, it gets built. Um, with this ad budget because it's going to offset the cost. So I have lots of people that come to me, they want me to run their ads, but when they realize they need an ad budget, they get churned off. Well, duh, of course you need an ad budget to run ads. And when we do a good job and we convert your your ads, we convert um, what we're offering, you're gonna put money into that ad budget but you into that ad spend, but you're going to be making money back because your ads are highly targeted and they are reaching the people that are most likely to purchase your product or service, and then they're gonna purchase your product or service. So you're going to make money back from it, but you need that money to lay out on the front end. So start saving right now for your ad budget if you don't already have one. If you already have one, see how you can increase it. See if you can double it. See what percentage you can put in from your income into that ad spend budget because it is so critical. You've got to pay to play. Hope this helped and I'll see you soon.